Hi everyone, uh, welcome to your guide to Aston Bryan College. Uh, my name is Callum and I work as part of our student recruitment team. Uh, and although I'm really gutted that we can't welcome you onto campus just yet, hopefully this presentation gives you a really good flavour of our unique land-based offer. Um, as you can probably tell from the photos I've put up here, we aren't your typical general further education college, uh, but instead we specialise in looking beyond the classroom, uh, often to nature, the outdoors and wildlife to form our vocationally focused courses. Okay, so who are we? Um, so we are the UK's largest specialised land-based college. Um, and that's a lot of words for saying that we tend to attract, attract students who are more practically focused, uh, want to pursue more vocational learning and are keen to study from beyond the classroom. Um, it's important for us to note initially that although we currently have six locations across the north of England, in principle we are planning to close our Newton Rig campus in Penrith um, from July 2021. Uh, and more information about that can be found on our website. But for now, to continue, uh, we aren't the biggest college in terms of student numbers uh, because we pride ourselves on small class sizes and personalised learning, uh, but we do operate across a huge amount of land being a land-based college. Um, so that can incorporate everything from our farms through to our engineering workshops and our animal units. And then at our York and at our Penrith campuses, um, we have a residential offer. Um, so that gives students a chance to come and stay with us uh, and experience independence and perhaps gain a taste for university life uh, even after your GCSEs. So our courses. Um, so we have programmes that accommodate for a whole range of abilities and different levels. Um, so the vast majority of our students uh, will be undertaking either a full-time or apprenticeship course at level 2 or level 3. But we also have some entry level and level 1 courses for students who found GCSEs particularly difficult. So as a land-based college, um, you would expect us to run courses like agriculture and animal management. Uh, but there might be some courses here that surprise you or are completely new to you. Um, so things like horticulture, uh, land and wildlife, motorsport. Um, and usually it's at this point that I'd say that one of these subjects will probably intrigue you, uh, just interest you, or you might already do one as a hobby. And it's definitely important that you check that out further. Um, but if you hold on now uh, till the end of the presentation, I'll explain how you can experience us virtually uh, in light of the current environment. Okay, um, so as mentioned uh, at the start, we have courses for a whole range of levels. Uh, that means that students who want to work within the land-based industry, who want to get a sense of what it's like to be hands-on within their learning, can do. Um, so for our level two courses, our one-year courses, uh, this translates to four GCSEs at grade three for your entry requirements. And then for our level three courses, where we have probably the bulk of our students, um, it's four GCSEs at grade four. However, um, we do recognise that the current situation might concern some students and we do encourage you just to get in touch if you're unsure uh, and I've got an email address that you can do so at the end. Um, and as a recruitment team, we are determined that no student will be affected in their transition, hopefully from school leaver to Ask and Brian student. Uh, not only then do we have our apprenticeship programme that runs alongside our full-time course offer, uh, but you'll notice at the top there that we actually run all the way up to degree and now even master's degree level. Um, personally, I think it's fantastic that you can then have the college and the university experience all embedded into one under Ask and Brian. Brill. Um, okay, so at the moment, I mentioned at the start, we have six campuses located across the north of England that I've put the sort of rough markers on here. Um, however, do note again that in principle, the college is planning to close our Newton Rig campus from July 2021. Uh, nevertheless, currently, our York and our Newton Rig campus um, offer the full programme of land-based studies. And our other campus, our other main campus even, uh, at Stewart Park at Middlesbrough, specialises in animal management, equine and foundation learning. We then have three specialist campuses on the left there. Um, so one at Saltaire in Bradford, where we deliver some of our animal management programmes. We then have another campus at Wakefield, where we deliver some animal management and equine programmes. And then finally, we have a specialist veterinary nursing unit up at Gateshead in Newcastle. Okay, really quickly then, just to recap with regards to our Newton Rig campus. Um, so following an independent review uh, carried out by the Further Education Commissioner, the campus in principle will be closed for further education teaching from July 2021. However, all academic courses for this year are continuing as planned. Okay, um, so I thought I'd give a really quick introduction into all of our subjects uh, in terms of where we offer them, what facilities we have to offer and where students might go once they've completed the course. Um, but before I sort of dive into animal management, uh, I think really crucial to mention uh, is that all of our courses uh, at the heart of them have work placement hours embedded. 
Um, so these work placement hours are embedded within each course and it gives students a real sense of what employment in their chosen industry would look like. Um, we are vocationally focused, as I mentioned, uh, and we want to reflect that in the opportunity we offer you to kickstart your career path from the get-go. Okay, uh, so starting off with our, probably our most popular course in a sense, um, Animal Management, uh, available at all of our campuses except obviously the Veterinary Nursing Unit at Newcastle. Um, we have some fantastic facilities for animal management. Uh, the standout obviously being our on-site wildlife park at our York campus uh, for our York, Saltaire and Wakefield students. Um, so students have access to over 120 different species of animal, uh, right the way from cats and dogs through to meerkats, llamas. We have our own reptile unit, our own aquatic unit. Uh, we have it all really, it's fantastic. Um, and students are involved in the feeding, the facility maintenance, and they'll look at topics like behavior, um, training, anatomy, physiology. Um, and we also have a really exciting link with Flamingo Land Zoo where students will do some of the sort of larger animal handling work. We then have students uh, who go on to our degree programs in animal management, uh, but they also go on to careers in product development, uh, nutrition, kennels, cattery, uh, zoos, the whole lot really. Okay, our equine courses. Um, so these are available at the four campuses you can see below. Uh, we run level two equine courses uh, and, and our level three course offer is then split into equine management and equine sport. Uh, again, some really fantastic facilities on campus with us. Uh, so at our York campus, we stable around 40 plus horses. Uh, some students actually have the opportunity to bring their horse with them if they already own a horse, uh, but they can't be too precious because other students might ride them. Um, we then have our own equine academy as a cross college academy. Um, that competes nationally uh, and is trained by Chris Bartle. Um, so Chris Bartle was the previous German Olympic team coach and is the current performance coach for a British three-day event squad as well. Um, so some really fantastic experience to learn from you know, experts within their field. Um, we then have indoor and outdoor arenas for our equine students to practice within uh, and they'll, they'll be involved in um, shows like the Christmas shows that we do, Valentine's dressage and other events throughout the year. So it's a really exciting offer uh, for those who are looking to ride, those who are looking to become a groom or just sort of want to work uh, with horses in some capacity. Um, and you can see from the where next slide, um, our students go on to a whole array of careers. Um, and part of that is that our equine team have established some really fantastic employer engagement links uh, through the likes of Blue Cross and Farrier. Okay, our veterinary nursing course. Um, so available at our York and Newcastle campuses. Um, these are sort of ran and validated uh, by the Royal College for Veterinary Surgeons. Um, so the RCVS, as it's called, uh, means that you can add, add the fancy letters RVN to the front of your name because uh, you will become, at the end of this course, a registered veterinary nurse. Um, so some more initials to add to your name. Um, so our York campus students obviously have the same access to the sort of uh, the animals that you can see at our wildlife park. Um, and we, but they also spend the vast majority of their time in the vet suite. Um, so we have a replica vet suite, which is the exact same as if you took a, a pet of yours into the vets today. So you get that sort of real life hands on experience. Um, and the career paths in this instance are a bit more obvious uh, as a veterinary nurse, but students have then gone on to work in the pharmaceutical industry uh, and sort of other animal health occupations as well. Okay, agriculture. Um, so of course it's really been growing in popularity with us. Um, our agriculture students across our York and currently our Newton Rig campus um, have the exclusive use of four commercial farms, uh, which gives them a sort of quality of experience within that industry. Uh, we run level two and level three programs uh, in agriculture with the option for our level three students to then specialize in either livestock, arable or farm mechanization pathways. Um, students don't then just cover those topics, so just cover livestock and arable or, or farm mech. Uh, they then go on to specialise in areas like estates management, uh, plant and soil science and agribusiness, and they're just some of the topics embedded within the course. Um, and we are proud to have actually established some really fantastic partnerships uh, with companies such as Delarval, um, and our York campus boasts a really fantastic state-of-the-art farm uh, with robotic milking facilities too. Okay, um, our land and wildlife team, uh, or countryside and game as some people might uh, have come across it, uh, they teach students to develop their skills in estates management, um, appropriate hunting and shooting methods uh, across lowland and upland farms and estates. Um, so students have then since gone on to technical advisory roles, uh, wardening, rangering, uh, just to name a few of the careers. Um, it's a really popular course with us now um, and one that I know that when we get the taster days back up and running, uh, you definitely wouldn't fail to come and have a look for a couple of hours. Okay, horticulture. 
Um, sometimes I switch to this slide and students switch off uh, because they see the word horticulture and plants and don't quite grasp that the course is much more than that. Um, so students who are on our part-time, our full-time and our apprenticeship horticulture courses um, are gaining a qualification to enter what is going to be a really rapidly developing industry in the light of sort of current global climate issues. Um, students will cover topics such as landscape design, sports turf, hard landscaping, surveying. Uh, we have our own greenhouses that students are working. Um, and they've gone on to a range of careers uh, in the likes of greenkeeping, research and project design. Okay, forestry and arb. Uh, usually it's at this point that I ask students uh, to put up their hand if they know what arboriculture course is um, uh, or what the arboriculture term means um, and usually a deafening silence will come across the room um, but arboriculture is a fancy word for tree surgery um, so our level two and level three students and apprentices uh, they'll work on topics like ground-based operations uh, woodland and habitat management tree felling chainsaw use um, and I know from speaking to our forestry and arboriculture team uh, that there's a real shortage of, of people to fill uh, management positions uh, within these industries. Um, so it's definitely a real opportunity if you are interested in this sector. We then have a small floristry course. Um, so great if you've got a really keen eye for detail. Um, our florist a couple of years ago now actually won gold at the Chelsea Flower Show. Uh, and one of our students this year has been working on making some bows uh, during the COVID-19 crisis up at Scarborough. Um, so again, perhaps uh, more obvious career paths uh, in terms of going into working in the floristry industry, uh, but students have gone on to set up their own business, uh, coordinate events and undertake some freelance work as well. Land-based engineering, um, a course that I think really epitomises our hands-on approach. Um, so students get the chance to handle, repair uh, and look at the functionality of what we call land-based mega machinery. Uh, so it's got a very much an agriculture focus being a, a sort of land-based college. Um, but students will learn more about mechanical principles, uh, diagnostic equipment, uh, and at our York campus we have a 900 metre workshop where students work with him. Real. Uh, so our motorsport course, again one that's definitely grown in popularity. Um, so students will usually start at level 2 with our motorsport course, just sort of due to uh, the, the experience that they need to acquire. Uh, they'll look at topics like uh, electronics, electrical principles, uh, engine systems, restoration, uh, removing and refitting components uh, before they then tend to specialise, uh, go on to level three and look at either motorsport engineering or vehicle restoration. Um, so our motorsport students will come into contact with a range of, of cars and bikes. Uh, they'll work in our own fabrication units, our own welding units that we have on campus. Uh, and we also have some track days that students are a part of. Fab, uh, sport. Um, so we currently run four pathways within our sports department. Um, we run a generic sports level three course uh, and level two course even, which will cover topics such as uh, anatomy, exercise planning, instructing, self-evaluation. Uh, we've then run a rather popular um, sports partnership course with Leeds United Football Club. So it's our Leeds United pathway, uh, where part of the course actually involves uh, training at Leeds facilities as well as at our own at Ask and Brian. Uh, they'll look at similar topics uh, to what I outlined earlier, uh, but they'll also have a bit more of a football focus. Uh, so things like in injury, uh, fitness programming and talent identification as well. Uh, and we then have our third course, um, a personal training for health, fitness and performance uh, course. So that will focus on things like nutrition, uh, applied human biology and is geared towards sort of personal training. And then finally, uh, we run an outdoor adventure sport course. Um, so this is for students who are interested in ad adventurous expeditions, uh, alternative pursuits and sort of education within the wider environment as well. We also have a uniform public service course, uh, which is really popular for students who'd like to learn a bit more about fitness and discipline, citizenship, leadership, before deciding sort of what branch of the public services they'd like to enter. Um, so we have fantastic links with our combined cadet force, the police and fire and ambulance services and prison services, and students tend to complete the course and then go into one of those sort of public service branches. Okay, so the following three courses are currently only available at our Newton Rig campus, so please do remember uh, that the college in principle is planning to close our Newton Rig campus from July 2021. Uh, but nonetheless, we do have the following three course offers. Um, so one of which being hairdressing, um, beauty and complementary therapy. Um, so students actually get the chance to work within our Eden Boutique, uh, which has a four out of five star rating. So again, get that hands-on practical experience. 
We've had our uh, child care and education course as well. Um, so students will sort of work within uh, an on-site nursery that we have at Newton Rig called Muddy Boots. Uh, they'll get the chance to build up their experience to go in and perhaps work as an early years practitioner or a nanny or other jobs. And we then have a health and social care course as well. Uh, so students there you can see working within our uh, laboratories that we've got. And they'll go on to work as perhaps nannies, go on to work in healthcare, public health or, um, or home care assistant work too. Uh, and I mentioned at the start uh, that we have that we run courses for all abilities uh, and we want to make sure that those who have an interest or a passion within the land-based industry can actually you know pursue that further after school. Um, so those who want to actually put learning into their nature uh, have the opportunity to do so. Uh, we therefore run some really fantastic entry level and level one and level even two courses through our foundation learning team. Um, so these courses often form a mix of practical skills development with an introduction into one of our course uh, land based areas. So animal care, agriculture or horticulture is a couple of examples. OK, uh, Fab, that is all of our courses covered. You'll be glad to hear. Um, I just thought I'd state a point of sort of my route to Ask and Brian. Um, so I joined our recruitment team straight after I finished university at York. Um, not only did I want to stay in York, as it's a fantastic place to study and live for those who are looking at our York campus and perhaps our accommodation offer. But also I viewed what Ask and Brian College has to offer and its unique land based offer as something that everyone should be made aware of. Um, Vocational qualifications can often be overlooked after your GCSEs and it's really important that you choose the right option for you. Um, and I know that personally something that would have been more practical, um, often outside of the classroom and more hands-on learning would have definitely appealed to me when I was considering my options. But enough about me, <laughs> transport. Um, so we offer transport support um, to all of our campuses uh, and for students who accept their offer with us. Um, so students usually apply for transport in and around May time. Uh, and we do pick up from far and wide. Um, so as an example for our York campus, we pick up all the way up from Scarborough and all the way down to sort of Leeds and Castleford and Doncaster area. So do check out sort of what the best bus route might be for you uh, and hopefully we can offer you some support if that's an issue. Um, transport is currently free, uh, but that is subject to review on an annual basis. Okay, fantastic. Um, I sort of covered as he's bouncing. Um, I sort of covered this a second ago, but my main piece of advice beyond getting those English and Maths grade fours is to pursue something you genuinely enjoy and place that at the forefront of your next steps. Um, as I familiarised myself with Ask and Brian and our students, um, I realised that these were students who were genuinely excited to study something that was perhaps already a passion, already a hobby, or just simply interested them. Uh, and they took that, they grasped that with both hands uh, to begin their journey and their next steps. Um, and at the risk of your teachers perhaps muting me at this point, you have had a limited amount of choice within your education so far, and it's definitely important that you make uh, the right choice that's for you, basically. But enough from me. Uh, what about what our students have to say about their experience? Um, so at the top that, right there, we have Kieran, who's one of our student ambassadors. Um, and Kieran and others commented upon, firstly, uh, the opportunity to learn in and outside of the classroom. Um, so all of our courses have a mix of practical and theory elements bedded within them. That means you can gain experience directly related uh, to the roles within your industry. You also get the opportunity to meet new people from all over the country. As I said, we have an extensive transport network and as, a, as the largest specialised land-based college, we do attract people from all over the UK and even the globe in some instances. And finally, uh, I mentioned that we are a small college uh, with personalised learning at the sort of forefront of what we do. Um, and frankly, we are situated in all of our campuses in calm and frankly amazing places to study. And personally, I threw this one up there because I think it's fantastic. Um, so students join us as school leavers and some continue uh, on from our college courses to our university centre courses and even some join us as staff. And that brings me nicely onto our university centre. Um, so our university centre offer is within these six key course areas that you can see here. Uh, and again, our university centre students have some uh, facilities that are for their exclusive use. So we have our own higher education centre, but they benefit from the similar facilities to what I've outlined for our college programmes. Uh, and I think it's really great, as I said at the start, that we have that progression from college through to university for you as well, if you are looking sort of long term. OK, um, our college community. Um, so I often ask my ambassadors what they love about being an Ask and Brian student. Um, and almost always they talk about the small numbers, uh, which gives students the opportunity to get to know their staff and support community really well. And they thrive off that. 
Um, so at Ask and Brian, we have 96% student satisfaction um, and we are very much working on the other 4%, I'm sure. Um, we have bursaries and scholarships available to make sure that you can access us, access accommodation, for example, perhaps. Uh, and we're rated outstanding for our care provision and accommodation. We then have some specialist teams in place uh, in learning support, student support and employability uh, to help make you feel comfortable, really, and help you thrive with us. But we aren't just about educating you to the highest possible standard. Um, we also want you to enjoy your time with us. Um, so on the right hand side near the top there, you'll see our ABC Students Union. Uh, and they run a whole host of events throughout the years, uh, from tractor pulls to silent discos, freshers week to make you sort of more familiar with the campus. Um, and that culminates in the end of year summer ball. They then also run all of our sports teams and our societies, uh, so our football team there, and they'll compete against other colleges uh, sort of across the north of England. Okay, to summarise then, uh, what makes us distinctive? Um, so we are a vocational college, uh, ensuring that you are work ready when you leave us, and that's all part of what those work placement hours I talked about at the start. Uh, you are treated as an individual, uh, and we'll have an expert-led experience. So I mentioned Chris Bartles, an example for our equine students. Uh, we also have a fantastic apprenticeship program uh, for anyone who's interested in sort of earning whilst you learn. Uh, and as I mentioned, a real selling point of ours is having that work placement hours integrated within your course. Uh, and some students will then go on to find employment with their work placement provider, but either way, it's a really fantastic experience to have uh, within. Uh, and I did mention at the start, you get some uh, the exclusive use of some really fantastic facilities. Uh, so from our welding and fabrication units through to our commercial farms, our commercial wildlife park, it is really focused about gaining you that employment experience. Okay, so your next step with us, uh, follow us and put learning in your nature. Um, so you can keep uh, up to date on all things Ask and Brian through our social media outlets. Um, and at the top there, we have our What's On page. Um, so that's usually where we updated with, uh, update our open events. Uh, we usually have taster sessions, which are like sort of two hour try before you buy sessions. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get those up and running again. So do check that out for any, for any links. Um, but for now, I did mention the opportunity to experience us virtually uh, and do all you can to sort of educate yourself about what we have to offer. Um, so we have all of our course guides that you can see at the top there, uh, some virtual tour footage, and also all of our course and support teams recorded introductory presentations as well. Um, they are all available via our Find Out More page. Um, and if your teachers are happy to send you on this slideshow, then you just click on uh, the links here and that'll take you through to that. We are still very much welcoming applications for the next academic year uh, or the academic year after that or whenever you're perhaps interested in coming to us. Um, and applying to us or, or any other college doesn't commit you to us, but in our instance, it does mean you'll get a phone call from one of our curriculum team who you can discuss the course in more depth. So we do encourage you to, to apply. Um, I did mention if you'd like any further information or you'd like to contact myself or any of the team, uh, then do get in touch via our inquiries email there. So inquiries at askham-brian.ac.uk. Um, but hopefully uh, you've gained a lot of information. Uh, I'll leave it there for now. Um, and hopefully I'll see some of you on campus with us, uh, be it next year or the year after. Um, and hopefully this presentation has given you a real insight into how learning is in our nature. And hopefully it can be in yours too. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and good luck.